my previous update video, I showed you that my yellow crazy ants have outgrown their formicarium. And in this video, a new expansion is exactly what I want to give them. I'm Dave Fu and welcome to Ants DIY. Before I start transferring them into their expansion, let me tell you about them first. I realized that I haven't really given the proper introduction for the ant species that I'm keeping. This species is called Anoplolipis gracilipis, aka the notoriously invasive yellow crazy ants. Yes, you heard me right. They are very, very invasive. Simply because they are polygenous, which means they can have more than one queen in a colony. The birth rate is high, and they have high acceptance of other yellow crazy ant colony that they will often merge together to form an even bigger colony. That's not it. Be prepared to be mind blown. The queen can give birth to elites or reproductives that are direct clones of themselves and the males that she have mated before in the past. In other words, the elites are brothers and sisters yet are genetically unrelated. This means they can mate within their own colony without inbreeding. Cool, right? But because of all these characteristics, they are a world-class pest. Take Christmas Island as an example. They were introduced accidentally there and they have invaded the whole place. The ecosystem there is disrupted because they eat literally everything. From isopods, earthworms, mollusks, and even land crabs, earning the title of scavenging predator. They usually nest under leaf litters and hollow tree trunks, sometimes in between cracks and crevices of buildings. So I conclude that they do not actually require high humidity because of my personal experience of keeping them and also their natural habitat. Whenever they are startled, they will run around at high speed. Hmm, should I name this colony the reverse flash? <laughs> Alright, enough talking. Let's give them their expansion now. The plan is to connect these two pods together and let them move in. Ready and go! Immediately, the ants rushed into the formicarium and started exploring it. Some even brought in the brood immediately because there's no more space in the outworld. The thin layer of cocoa fiber in the formicarium serves to hold humidity within the nest. But the outworld still looks crowded though. Could it be that this formicarium is actually not big enough? It seems like I need to give them another expansion. And so, I gave them the pop and slot formicarium solenopsis nest, the ant killer formicarium. I was just kidding. I did mention before that the reason my fire ants died in this formicarium is because I used baking soda to oxidize the super glue in order to attach the hydration mesh faster. It turns out that baking soda is toxic to ants. I have cleaned this formicarium thoroughly. 
even with vinegar to remove all baking soda that's still on the surface. Well, lesson learned. Some of the workers have moved into the formicarium, but the outworld still looks as crowded as ever. Does this mean that they tricked me into giving them an extra formicarium? No way! But judging at the looks of the current formicarium, there are so many brood in there, perhaps in a month or two, they will eventually need an expansion. Might as well give them one right now, right? So what can we take away from these ant species? Well, they are small and fragile, but what gives them the power to be highly invasive is that they are united. As the wise saying goes, united we stand, divided we fall. Unity is very powerful because when we are united, we have the power to accomplish everything no matter how big the problem we are facing. Just like one body have many parts, each of us plays a different role. The hand cannot tell the leg that I don't need you, nor the eye can tell the hand that I don't need you, because we are all in one body. So stick together no matter what, alright? But don't forget about social distancing during this global pandemic. Hey guys, thanks for making it until the very end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, hit the like and share button. Let your other friends watch this as well. If you are new here and have not subscribed to my channel yet, because in YouTube analytics, I saw that actually 89% of you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet. And if you are one of them, please hit the subscribe button. It means a lot to me. and I truly appreciate all of your support. And if you want to support me even more, I now have a Patreon page. You can go to that Patreon page in the link description below. And you can tip in a dollar or two for me so that you can support in what I'm doing now. That I can give my ends a better living and even upgrade the gears that I'm using so that I can produce even better quality contents for you guys. So I'll see you guys later. And be sure, subscribe. And that's it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.